Lieutenant Jonathan Lowe, 25, has become the first Singaporean in nearly 30 years to graduate top of his cohort at the prestigious United States Air Force Academy ASAFA. At his graduation ceremony in Colorado on May 30, LTA Lowe, the only Singaporean in his year, waved the Singapore flag with pride after receiving 10 awards. The last time a Singaporean topped the ASAFE program was in 1995. The four-year ASAFE program receives 12,000 applications every year but accepts only 1,100 to 1,200 students. Of these, only 15 are international cadets. Only two Singaporeans have ever been top graduates of the course. The other was Colonel Retired Lo Chang Guan. Graduating international cadets are typically honoured at the ASAFA's graduation ceremony where they get the chance to fly their country's flag. Speaking to reporters on June 7, LTA Lo recalled how he felt proud, thankful, honoured and humbled when he flew the Singapore flag. It wasn't about me at that moment but the people behind me. He recounted how he struggled with time management during the course where he was graded on his academic, military and athletic performance. A typical day at the ASAFA would involve seven to eight hours of academic classes with two hours of military training. Leaving LTA low with limited time to catch up on his work. Work is never ending, I can always read another book to learn a bit more, he said. I had to learn when to draw the line. To say I've studied enough and move on, focus on my friendships. For instance, he would often eat with his friends and go on hikes with them at Eagle's Peak, a mountain near the Asafa. LTA Lowe, who was from St. Andrews Junior College, said he was first inspired to become a pilot when he saw the Singapore Youth Flying Club booth during his school's co-curricular activity open house event. While he did not join the club at the time because of the high time commitment, he imagined that being a pilot would be like flying his own roller coaster, which was an exciting prospect. In national service, he signed up to join the Republic of Singapore Air Force in hopes of becoming a pilot, and subsequently underwent two rounds of interviews before being awarded the Singapore Armed Forces Academic Scholarship Military on July 10. 2019, as part of ASAFA's selection process, he was also interviewed by the U.S. Embassy in Singapore and underwent multiple physical tests. LTA Lowe also spoke of how he lost his mother to gallbladder cancer during his PSLE year and the impact of that loss on him today. She never got to see me do well, he said. She wasn't there to see my grades improve in secondary two, my performance in the A-levels, basic military training, the day I was awarded the scholarship and the day of graduation from the ASAFA. He added. LTA Lowe said, It is a pity that she can't be by my side, but I can't control it. What I can do now is to make my current parents proud and express my love to them. LTA Lowe has two brothers and his father, a Bible teacher, has remarried. I wanted to do my best for those who invested in me, including my mom. She is one of the reasons that I held on to my values today. To be humble, caring and work hard. Just before he graduated from ASAFA, LTA Lowe gave his American friend, 2nd Lieutenant Brett Castro, a framed photo of them together as a farewell gift. The bittersweet moment brought both men to tears, said LTA Lowe, as they realized that they were graduating and soon to be separated by thousands of kilometers. No words can express that emotional moment. He said, We love each other and will give our lives for each other.